So Remy and I are camped out on this nice hilltop here uh, with a potentially awesome view of Mount Hood, except that the clouds are covering it right now. So we've been just kind of sitting back, relaxing, listening to an audiobook, and waiting for the clouds to get away so we can see that view. But we're getting a little bit hungry, and I thought I'd take this chance to kind of talk about this cool little camp stove that I bought, and it's pretty affordable, but I've been pretty happy with it so far. So I'm gonna start making dinner, and uh, we'll kind of talk about the little camp stove. So this is the camp stove here. Uh, it's, you know, it's re like I said, it's really a, a pretty affordable camp stove, and being that it is a more affordable camp stove, the case it comes with is pretty cheap. In fact, it's already been broken a little bit but uh i don't know i'll probably find a different storage solution for this stove anyway in the future so this is a sterno brand it's uh it's just a little butane single burner stove but the burner itself is pretty large you can fit a pretty big pot on it um unfortunately some of the smaller things like my uh little titanium cup um right here it it fits kind of like right on top of there and right in between the pot holders uh, but it hasn't really been a problem if I just need to boil water real quick in this thing I, it I just set it right there um, so anyway uh, it's a pretty simple stove and uh, pretty easy to use it just uses these little uh, these butane cartridges here uh, this one is a stand sport brand but you um, know Sterno makes their own. Obviously, they're kind of better known for their fuel anyway. Uh, but it's just an 8-ounce can, uh, and I just leave it in there. I don't know if you're technically supposed to. It has these little, this cap and everything right here that you're supposed to put on it, but I don't know. I just leave it in there. It hasn't been an issue. Uh, so basically, it, it has this little notch here on the end of the can. You can see right there. And that goes up and it locks into a little tab. I'll get a better shot of it for you guys. And you just kind of lift that up, drop it in there. It kind of taps into place. And then you have this lever to lock it in place. And that pushes the can into the regulator and then you can control uh, the level and this actually has an igniter in it as well. So you when you turn it on um, You can turn it all the way it clicks and sparks the little igniter and lights the stove uh, But before I do any of that I'm gonna get my tabletop set up Like I was saying, when you go ahead and get the canister set in there, uh, you go, you just push the little lock button down, and then you can turn this to on, and you can hear the gas running. And you turn it past on, and then eventually it clicks and fires right up. So my dinner tonight is pretty simple. I just uh, found some of this uh, ready rice, whatever, and it's uh, cilantro and lime flavor. So I'm just gonna throw this in my little skillet with some uh, with some chicken, heat it up, and then that's gonna be dinner. Actually, I'll be honest, I haven't really tested this in the wind, and we're sitting uh, on top of a hilltop right now, and the wind's kind of going, and it's affecting this a little bit. So just a couple of tables. One of the tricky things about uh, some of these camp stoves, um, especially the more affordable ones like this one, uh, is that the adjustment is usually pretty much all the way on or kind of off or it blows out. Um, so I'm kind of running it right in the middle there as you can see. And So far it hasn't blown out. The wind's picking up a little bit. Add some chicken. Anyway, uh, some more about the stove. I picked this thing up at, uh, I can't remember if I got it on Amazon or if I, I think I got it at uh, Sportsman's Warehouse, just 
sporting goods store. Probably find it at places like maybe maybe Dick's um, if you're in the south or whatever. Maybe like an Academy Sports or something. I ended up spending, I think it was like 20 bucks, maybe $25 when I, um, where I bought it. So this is this is actually the first time I've used a butane stove, really. It, usually I've used the uh, kind of propane style ones. I take the little green, um, small propane cylinder, uh, cylinders. But, I mean, I don't know. I'm sure there's... There we go. So that was a good gust of wind there, and you'll see that it, it kind of stroke it you know it affected it there a little bit but it didn't blow it out so that's good uh, I know if you're into if you have like a camper van or something this might work as a as a little cooktop stove uh, obviously like I said you want some ventilation you don't really want to run a cook stove or anything like that where it's trapped inside um, or if you uh, have kind of a setup I mean, not like this, this is kind of by itself, but a drawer system or something, and you want to camp out of the back of your car, if you got like an overlanding kind of vehicle and you've got a drawer system. This thing's pretty small, you could probably get it to fit pretty well inside of a, a drawer system. I mean, it puts out good heat, boils water pretty quick. Uh, I've been running this, this canister, I've probably made about four meals or so on this stove, and boiled water and, you know, two. And uh, so far this canister's still got some life in it, so seems like a fairly efficient uh, stove. Right. I think I'm going to call this dinner made super simple. And dropping my spatula in the dirt. So on that note, so thanks for watching guys. If you're curious about any of the other things that I use when I'm camping, any of the other gear that I have in this car, or any specific details, go ahead and leave a comment below. and. Uh, Maybe I'll make a whole video on it or just answer your question real quick in the comments. So uh, until next time, I'll see you guys on the next video. If you'd like to follow along with the rest of our adventures, make sure to subscribe. And to make sure you don't miss out on any other videos, click the notification bell as well.